a tough, a hard time. So that's why I'm talking to you, that when you enter an embassy, the ambassador is actually checking your entire dressing. The first thing is this. First impression is the last one. For example, it's checking out your outer personality. Outer personality means your body language, as well as your confidence. It's checking out your preparation, as well as if you're comfortable or uncomfortable in the embassy you enter. So after that, Mr. Ambassador is also gazing you. He's also a great psychiatrist and knows that what to do. He knows that you're telling a lie or not. For example, that you're, you're making a bluff statement. You're a bluffer. So automatically you will understand that you will come or not. You'll check out your bank statement. You'll check out your sponsor letters. You'll check out your family background. You'll check out your uh, last six or one year's uh, bank transactions. You'll also check the NTN number. You'll also check out uh, your proficiencies of IELTS TOEFL test. You'll also check out your uh, studies marks, educational background marks, for example, your DMCs, yes, your certifications, whatever you obtain a degree. You'll check it out. You'll verify each and everything is genuine or bogus or fake, original. So you'll check out your original documents. After that, he will start entering you. After investigating all these things for a month, one month, maybe for 15 to 20 days, he will just put you in interview. And that interview, he'll check out that what about your intentions, uh, whether you come back or not, yeah? Or maybe that you are going for the nationality there, you're going for the marriage, you're going for something wrong purpose there, yeah? You're going for earning money there, yes? So he's checking, actually your mentality which you're telling him that actually I'm going for the education point of view to America, but he asks a question from you that universities, colleges are also available in Pakistan, why are you moving towards America? Then he asks the question that compared to America, why are you not applying to United Kingdom and other rest part of the world? There is also education in China as well as Russia, different neighborhood countries, they have also great education, yeah? Why are you applying to specifically United States of America, yeah? So then you have to satisfy him, yes? After that, he will ask the question that, uh, what is your college or university telephone number? <laughs> Which you don't know. Who is your principal and director? When your university or institute or college established, uh, just tell about your faculty, how many faculty members are there, yes? And you will ask also that, for uh, example, you're going to UK, so obviously there's a British Accreditation Council and DFES, Department for Education and Skills. Is it registered or not? University College Institution, yeah. Why, how did you find us? How did you find them? Yes, question. How did you find the university? Why are you choosing that specific university and college instead of other colleges, other areas? Do you have any relative there? Do you have brothers and sisters there? How many brothers and sisters are here in Pakistan? If you're going to the United States of America, so obviously entire expenditure will be come on you by your parents. And meanwhile, the back in Pakistan, you are also having the other siblings who are responsible for your siblings as well, because entire money you are taking with you. How will you give the answer of that question? Are you engaged? Are you married? Are you a bachelor? If you're married, why are you moving? Surely you'll come back. Surely. I don't think so that you'll come back. You're fed up from Pakistan. Pakistan is full of nowadays in terrorism, yeah? So you're fed up from your country. That's why you're moving to the United States of America. You, I don't think so that you'll come back to your country because you're going for the peace. Pleasure there. Enjoyment. Business. Money. Honey. So, after putting such questions, how will you answer? Then, here's a God bless you. <laughs> so, obviously, that's why I'm telling you that uh, embassy interview is not a piece of cake. Okay? It's not a piece of cake. That's very tough. So tough. Okay? So, he's asking, as well as, do you need any translator, invigilator? Obviously, you say, I need a translator. Yeah, thanks a lot. He will put a reason for your refusal letter on your, sorry, on your refusal letter that this guy asked 
about the translator or evangelator. I don't think so that he will just understand the people and standard. He is, doesn't mean the standard in the United States of America. He's asking about the evangelator, what he will do there. Will he keep another evangelator with him all the time? Yeah, it's right. It's right. That's true. I'm telling true. So this is the criteria. This is the criteria. So I'm telling to you people, my dears, that interview is not a piece of...